like me, you know, John, he loves to entertain. And I still remember that day in Sharp Academic Center, John seeing Ellen for the first time and him being swept off of his feet. I s still to this day. And John, you love to entertain, but man, you pulled out all the stops that day. You tried really hard. <laughs> Ellen, we always talked about this day and now we're finally here. It didn't take long for me to see that you were the one I wanted to spend my life with. First time I saw you in Sharp at Union, I thought to myself, wow, she's gorgeous. And I realized very fast that as beautiful as you are, who you are is just as amazing. While at school though, I was fortunate just to watch these two, you know, fall in love. I got to see my best friend find the woman that he's really wanting to marry someday. And that was really special for me. You and I Ellen has a heart of gold. She would drop anything for her family, her NICU babies, John, and of course, Lucy Lou. She is my on-call nurse that I text way too often to diagnose my symptoms before I resort to Google. I have always been so proud of her. She is passionate, she takes chances, she is smart, she works harder than anyone that I know. John, you are like a second brother to me, and even though you can't dance better than me, I will always stand by your side and Ellen's side and support you and Ellen, and I love you both always. You and I. Everyone you come into contact with smile and you always will. Your passion for others is a shining quality in your life. I can't wait to share it with you. You have allowed me to grow in my faith and love and, see, and how I see the world. Being your little sister has been one of the greatest blessings in my life. All right, John and Ellen, today you've proclaimed your desire to be married to each other, to your family, most importantly to God. You have promised vows of love and devotion to each other from the heart. Uh, you have given rings to be a reminder to yourself and as a symbol to the world of your vows and promises made today. Whew, that's fun, my favorite part, man. Therefore, <laughs> by the power vested in the state of Michigan, Kentucky, and more importantly, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. So in the mortal words of Rocky Balboa, ding, ding, let's get it on. There's a quiet moving in your wings. It's a peace I've never known. Build my anchor through it in your wings. Slow it down. Set my soul on fire, you pull 
today, Ellen, you are part of God's plan. You came into this world early, and now you take care of those same babies that came into the world before their parents planned. I told you the other day how proud I was of you doing this daily, and I, I continue to say that every day. Now you have a new person to be your partner, your friend, your protector, and husband to enjoy each other's challenges and victories. Getting to know John and his family from Michigan has been a blessing to see what they have done for John and his success and how much they love Ellen. John, I know I've told you this before, but having you with our family is something Beth and I value as our family grows. been through so much together and every single hardship we have ever faced has led us to where we are right now. I am so grateful for our journey thus far and for our journey ahead. I am so grateful that you are mine. You are everything that I prayed for I would find in a husband. You are my person, my best friend. I vow to be that for you for the rest of our lives together. I promise to love you every day and let you know you are loved every day. To always put God first in our marriage, to be the best husband I can be and the one you deserve. I will never stop being your best friend. It has been you since day one, and it will be you until there are no days left. I love you.